The coronavirus pandemic is changing the way we live our lives as well as the way doctors are practicing medicine. One important change, instead of walking into your urgent care or primary care doctor's office, they are recommending you call first. I want them to know that we are working every day. We meet and discuss the changes that occur every day in regards to this pandemic and that we are trying very hard uh, in the midst of the chaos and the stress of the pandemic to make sure that they continue to receive quality health care. Uh, we, we're changing the way that we are practicing medicine now uh, yeah. because of this pandemic. I am offering patients the option to not come to the office and have a face-to-face. -face. We still do see patients in the office, uh, but we're flexible. So that's, that's what I'd like for them to know. Dr. Robin Peace, who practices family medicine in Lumberton, North Carolina, recommends her patients follow stay-at-home orders and use protective gear when they have to leave their homes. We even have people in the community that are making like cloth masks. And so I've been asked the question, are they as good or are they good enough? And my response is, it's better than not having something covering your nose and your mouth. Until there is a vaccine or an approved treatment for COVID-19, Dr. Peace is encouraging her patients to help flatten the curve or the rate of infection by staying home. You can't wash your hands uh, enough. And so please stay home. Please stay away from one another. Stay six feet away. You're, you're not just doing it for yourself. You're doing it for your loved ones. You're doing it for the medical providers like myself that are proud to be there. But we need for you to help us because if too many people get sick at the same time, then that's going to overwhelm the health system. Stay home and read, stay home and write, stay home and journal. Stay home and call someone. You can't spread the virus if you're at home and you call someone. For now, education may be the best medicine we have to fight the virus. I think that it is wonderful that we have uh, avenues like Health Media Network to increase the education uh, for the patients in the community. Uh, knowledge is power. And so you provide knowledge and resources that patients wouldn't otherwise have. And when they're sitting out in my lobby waiting for me, they're getting the knowledge that's going to help perhaps save their lives or the lives of their loved ones. So we really appreciate that.